Hello everyone, I'm Halise, a digital storyteller, video producer, and content creator. I'm so excited to show you how I use Adobe Firefly Beta to create AI-generated content to enhance my thumbnails for my YouTube channel. I am also thrilled to share more on how Adobe's Content Authenticity Initiative is making it easy for creators to show how their work was created and get credit for their work as well. Okay, so here in Photoshop, I have my current design. It's super simple, a couple of images I've pulled from a hair tutorial video that'll be going out on my channel soon. As you can see, when I open content credentials, it shows that I am a producer, and even that I'm working with multiple images. My social media handles are connected as well, and it's even logging my edits and activity. So if I hit preview, we can see that in more detail. My social media handles are represented here, and it's also keeping track of everything that I am doing within the image. With the CAI feature content credentials enabled here in Photoshop, important information like my name, the date, and what tools I used will follow the final image as metadata wherever it goes. Now, this looks good on its own, okay? But I want to add a little razzle dazzle, a little something extra. So I'm going to design some fun text using Adobe Firefly. Adobe Firefly is a new family of creative generative AI models that can generate images and text effects, essentially helping creators work faster. I'm going to use the text feature to enhance my thumbnail in Photoshop. So my video is actually about me moving to Atlanta. So I think I want my text to be the move to Atlanta. And then I want to tell it to make it gold because we're lavish. We live lavishly here. Gonna hit generate. Okay, wow, this looks really cool. I like the way it looks. I can pick a couple different options to see what it's doing. I actually think I like this one the best. So I'm gonna go with this one. And I also, I'm gonna make it so the text effects is very tight. I made some minor adjustments, but overall I really like this. So let's go ahead and export it from Firefly. When I go to download the image in the top right hand corner, I am automatically prompted about content credentials. Everything that is created in Firefly comes with content credentials. So that way transparency is maintained whenever you use this tool. I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm back in Photoshop and I've brought in my text generated in Firefly and even manipulated it a little bit with some drop shadow and some resizing. So through it all, if I open my content credentials panel, I'll see that it is still acknowledging all the changes that I have been making. And it's even acknowledging the text that I created in Firefly and acknowledging that it has its own attribution history data. So I think this image looks pretty good. Let's go export it. When you open up the export as window, content credentials is already there. It's best to enable content credentials to publish to content credentials cloud instead of attaching it to the file because then even if someone tries to remove the credentials from the image, it can be verified through the verify site and added back on. I'll show you what I mean. Now, let's say I've exported my image here and I post it on my channel. Then someone screen grabs that image, which we all know is a common occurrence, and wants to use it or manipulate it further. You would then assume that the content credentials associated with that image are lost. They're not. I can now use Verify. Verify is a CAI website where consumers can see important provenance information about a piece of digital content. This is why it's better to use the export to cloud option for your content credentials. I'm going to now drop a screen grab of my thumbnail into Verify, not the original exported image, and hit possible matches. And as you can see, it has. It's matched the screenshot to my original exported image along with all of the information I've added. It even shows my Firefly generated image, essentially acknowledging that part of this image is AI generated. I can even change the view to see variations of the original pieces of my image. The ability to view content credentials is coming to more places online as well. Think online publications and social media sites. And that's why this is so groundbreaking. Content credentials allows for artists and creatives to authenticate and get credit for their work, regardless of where it goes online, which I know for myself and my creative peers is very important. And now with the release of Adobe Firefly, it's already built into the program, maintaining transparency with this new AI generation tool. If you want to learn more about the CAI and content credentials, check out this website or turn it on and play with it in Photoshop and hop into Adobe Firefly beta and generate some cool stuff.
Again, I'm Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always, and I'll see you when I see you.